when I first actually started. Mm -hmm. I was when I went to school. Everybody starts off with like starting out with comic books and whatnot. And for me, it's it really went into doing wanting to do like fantasy uh, fantasy book covers and artwork and everything. So I went into school thinking I was going to go for illustration. Teachers were kind of like, okay, yeah, you know, but uh, why don't you take a painting class? Finally, I took painting too, which was a little more of an advanced class. You can do what you want to, and it was really kind of focusing more on oil painting. And uh, pretty much got stuck. It was, it was done. It was, that was it for me. I went from illustration, went directly into painting, and did paintings just for my own sake. You know, in the future, I would love to do a large mural mural scale type of uh, of work, you know, similar to what like Michelangelo did and Leonardo did and favorite Rembrandt who did large mural sc uh, scale work, you know, for churches and libraries and Congress and all that kind of stuff. So the more high end things and those are the, like, I would love to do a large scale like that. A lot of times when you're when you're a working artist, a lot of times you'll see, especially from working with people that you went to school with and everything, is the idea that being an artist is incredibly tough and most people drop it once they kind of leave school. So for me, it's been a real push to, to make sure that I keep working, even if I'm tired. So if I'll have a you know an, an eight-hour shift at you know, my day job, I'll still come here three hours, if that, or even more, and keep working.